This is Metal Nate. Duncan Destroyer. And we are here with Anissa and Alexia from Eyes Set to Kill. How are you guys doing today? Good, very really good. good. Thank you. Yes. And how's Warped going for you? I'm sure it's the first question everyone must have been asking you, but... It's been awesome. Like, I don't know, all the shows have been really good. We're getting good crowd response, and it's been a lot of fun so far. And you noted today during your performance that this is the biggest crowd. Is that, is that, was that true? I think so. Don't you agree? Yeah, especially yeah. for the Ernie Ball stage. Yeah. We had the biggest crowd in the whole. It was awesome. There were people crowd surfing and singing to the songs. So it was really cool. Yep. Awesome, awesome. And you're touring in support of your uh, new release that uh, just came out relatively recently. It was uh, June 8th, right? Yeah. And that was Broken Frames. Um, how are people responding to that? Um, it's been pretty cool because usually like after our CD comes out we have to wait a couple months for people to actually be singing along but people have already been singing along on this tour and it just came out a month ago so that's really cool to see kids already singing. Yeah and um, a lot of kids have been saying like that this, this is their favorite album so far and so that's really cool. I'm glad that everyone likes it. Yeah, it's the third album for you guys, right? And I was talking to another band about this today, but that's often like where a band really defines their sound. Do you feel like you guys have done that? Yeah, I feel like when we were writing for this album, we were working a lot more hard than like the last two, and I felt like we knew exactly what we sounded or what we wanted to sound like instead of because the last two albums were the first one we had songs that we writ, wrote in like uh, high school. So like we were kind of trying to develop ourselves still like what we yeah. wanted. But I think that for this album we had the, I think we show what our vision for Isaac to Kill is like perfectly through Broken Frames. Especially because we've been through so many member changes and so um, finally I feel like this is like it, the, the lineup and like everyone contributed in the album, like everyone worked really hard together and it worked out awesome, yeah. And on that on the lineup note, um, you recently acquired acquired. It sounds really bad, but you recently have you have a new vocalist. You have Cisco now. It's, he didn't do the the vocals, the screams on the record though. Who did? And then I guess can you talk about uh, the the changeover from Brandon to uh, to yeah. to Cisco? Um, for Broken Friends, a friend of ours named Finch. Um, he did the vocals for us, and he came to Florida and like did the whole album with us, which was really cool. And I'm glad that he did because it ended, it worked out really good. And then, yeah, and we met we met Cisco actually on tour, on the he, tour right after recording. Yeah, so. he was just he was like tour managing this other band called Sleeping with Sirens, and we met him and we're like, hey, fill in for us for this tour because we knew of his band, his old band. And we knew he was a really good screamer slash singer, so he's like, yeah, I'll fill in. So we ended up liking him a lot, and we got along with him, and so we're like, be in our band, Cisco. And he's like, okay. It wasn't too hard to convince him then, was it? Because he was already a fan of us already, so he was like really excited to be in the band, so yeah. Awesome, that's great. Um, how is the recording process different for you, um, for, the, for, for uh, Broken Frames, as opposed to The World Outside and uh, Reach? Um, I guess for this album we tried to write a lot more different as in um, all of us starting a different song like there was a song Anissa started on piano and we've never done that before have her start a song so that was cool and then we just tried to, to um, make every song written differently and make sure that not the whole album was like one sounding like one track the whole time because I feel like that's something a lot of bands do now they try to make every song sound too similar or like a formulaic type of thing yeah, yeah. How is touring? Like, I know you guys—you guys are always on the road. It seems. I, I mean, how do you how do you cope with touring that much? We actually all really enjoy touring more than being at home. Yeah, touring is more like being at home for us, and being at home is like vacation, kind of. Yeah. So like, we get kind of like once if we're home for like a couple weeks, we're like, oh, we want to leave. We want to go back on the road again because we're so used to being in a different city every day, doing something different, playing shows for different people every day. That is just like. We feel like we have to keep doing that. We can't stop. So we all like touring. It's fun. It's cool to meet new people and new bands, become friends with new ba with other bands, and see new sights. It's a lot of fun. Awesome. Oh, being sisters, does that help at all? Um, 
Yeah, it's it's cool. I mean, we don't really know what it's like to be in a band without each other. Yeah. So. So I think it makes our bond makes touring easier just because we know each other, everything about each other, you yeah. know. So it's easier to, I guess, learn more about the rest of our bandmates because we already know each other so well. Okay, and I had interviewed um, I wrestled the bear once two weeks back, and she was talking about how excited she, Christopher Cameron was talking about how excited she was to hang out with you guys. She's saying, "Oh, other girls are on the tour. It's gonna be great." <laughs> I was talking about with her how um, I was asking her what it was like to be a, a female in a, like this sort of genre. So I guess I'll ask you the same question. I mean, like, what kind of challenges do you face? How does it affect you? Um, I think definitely when people are walking by, you could tell. Like to us, we're just playing music that we like, you know, but. To other people, when you could tell when they're walking by, you see the expression on their faces, like kind of confused, like what's going on. But that's the only, I think, the only hard thing about us being females playing in this type of genre is just the judgment, the how harsh the judgment is from other people. You've been involved with hardest tricks in metal for a couple of years running. Uh, do you, is that something you embrace? Do you like that they sort of, do you think they're taking, not taking you seriously? I mean, would you prefer that they still get your music rather than your outward appearance? Oh, well, it's been a really good, um, what's the word I'm searching for? Gateway to peop, to our music. It's like, good. people have seen us in their, in the promotion for yeah. us mostly. That's what makes, because like, they'll put us in the magazine and I know a lot of chicks are metal and then people were like, oh, I want to check out their band, so they check us out and they yeah. ended up end up liking the music too, so it's not just we're just hottest chicks of metal, we actually yeah. can play music and yeah. I know there's like a lot of people who think it's like a sexist type of thing, but I think it's really, I think it's a good way to get people to listen to our music because being women as hard as it is to get other people listening to our music just by saying, hey, I'm in a band, try and listen to it. Mm -hmm. Like it helps out to have those types of things in magazines that are saying, hey, these girls are the hottest chicks in metal, check them out. But at the same time, do you, you? I mean, you want your fans not to be fans for because they, they think you're hot. You want them to be fans because they like your music. Yeah, yeah. I really met anyone who said, "I love you guys. You're hot, but I don't like your music." Like I've never had that happen. Yeah. So. Okay. Fair enough. I know. Do you ever get annoyed at fans who yell things though, like at yeah, the stage? Yeah, I say f off to those people. Like, like sometimes people are like, there's people who are like, show me your boobs. Show me your, yeah, take your shirt off on them. Like, you know what, you need to go somewhere else. F you. Sorry, Sometimes. you can't say that word.